My name's Kyle, and I love The Phantom Menace. I think it's the greatest movie ever made. Biden vows to make abortion legislation his priority for next year, like a good Catholic. God's favorite chicken chain is being called out for their slow drive through Biden's obsession with ice cream might finally explain his constant brain freeze. All, All this, this and more on... On... The B Weekly. Hey everyone, welcome to the Babylon Bee Podcast. I'm Kyle, hanging out with Adam and Chandler today. How you guys doing? Very good. 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 So yeah. I'm wearing my new Dungeons and Dragons shirt, and I love it because it has Larry Elmore's classic fantasy art. I thought that was Larry Elmore. Yeah, it is. Me and, too. Right. And uh, this is like the original Red Box D and D. The only thing I don't like about this shirt uh -huh. is it's an exact copy of the box. Oh, okay. And it says, it age says 12 and up. Ages 12 and up on it. Oh, that's a little odd. Which is not a great around, thing to have on a shirt. I don't yeah. think. Like does that look a it's little like something Joe Biden would wear? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Huh. Maybe I can figure out some way to like maybe take some white out and turn that twelve into an eighteen. Yeah. Does it, do we have a button here or a sticker you guys could bring in and the I voted? Sticker? I don't love having an age of twelve and up. Yeah. <laughs> phrase it's a little weird. Shit. I love. It. I bought it online and I was like, oh, I love Larry Elmore's, uh -huh. Elmore's art, and I put it on and I was like, oh no, you know, and it's actually <laughs> on the picture online and everything. I just didn't notice it. Yeah. People, oh, Bettina's gonna get a sticker for. They're gonna be like, "Why are you waving that shirt? Wearing that shirt?" And you'll be like, "Cause I love this." <laughs> I actually like, got it for yes. this <laughs> part right here, which is just terrible. Well, we have a new Instagram page for the podcast, the Babylon Bee Podcast. So go follow us on Instagram and also check out the new YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash The Babylon Bee Podcast. We just crossed twenty-one thousand subscribers. <laughs> So please subscribe to that. And we also almost hit a million YouTube subscribers on the main channel. So, yeah. so close. It's a big milestone. Yeah. So close. Any ideas for what we should do when we hit a million, let us know. Oh, come on in. Come on in. Uh, thank Bettina, you. Bettina, everybody. Thank you, Bettina. Uh, this is a, what? what is this? This is a... It's your pronouns, just in case people don't. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> I now have... She's going to bring you a pin that says five and up. <laughs> <laughs> The other night after we filmed episode three of the Cali to Thank Texas you. barbecue sketch, I was wearing the, the, uh, Beto O'Rourke No, shirt. no, no. It was the, in this house we believe, like, oh, yeah. science is real, no, no human is legal. And, and my fiance was just like, he was looking at me so funny. And I was like, uh, do you want me to? I, I was like, are you, so, oh, you're wearing that shirt, huh? I'm like, yeah, it was for the sketch, haha. Ha. And I was just comfortable in the pajamas, <laughs> which you'll see soon in episode three. And uh, he just kept looking at me really weird. I was like, do you want me to take this shirt off and change shirts? He was like, yeah, I do. I'm like, you know, I'm only wearing it ironically. And he was like, I, it's just, I just, it's too weird. I'm like, okay. I, so end up like, I don't really believe in science or that love is love. <laughs> yeah. But I think, you know, it's the whole. Yeah. <laughs> dogmatic weird shirt but yeah we only and then i i thought of it you know uh one of our one of our colleagues here was drinking out of a cup so she her on it. and i was like it, we we have so much woke stuff in here but we only use it Ironic, ironically, yeah, ironically and I, I find it funny like it makes me if i saw it out in the wild i'd be like Ugh. but you know i see it here and i'm like ha ah, ha ah, that's funny maybe so. that's the only reason the woke movement like gains momentum is everyone out there you see with signs in the yards and shirts Ironic. they're all doing yeah. it ironically i don't criticize. think so and nobody wants to say yeah, but i do think like, like amazon how, um, like you too it's YouTube like became popular. YouTube's popular right <laughs> i'm sure my amazon uh you know the ads they don't know how to advertise to me because i have like a lot of like non-woke stuff and then a lot of really woke stuff on my amazon orders so i think they're probably very confused like yeah. um are you woke or not? I can't figure this <laughs> I out. Know, I know. I, I, Google can't figure me out either, which is awesome. It is nice. You know, Take earlier, that, robot. <laughs> before we started recording, we were talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how you should be April sometime in a sketch. Um, I, I, that, give me an idea for a segment we should do sometime where we bring you on and we quiz you on things that us older people yeah. like and see how much of it you actually know about. Ninja Turtles okay. movies, yeah. You were kind of staring. Pop culture from the early Like 90s. we said, oh, April O'Neil, and you were just staring at us and we're like, yeah. I don't April know if that's so much an age thing, but but no, yeah. but well, I don't, I'm not. It's not strictly age, but it's like. Well, I mean, what are we like? Ten years apartish. How old are you? I'm 35. I'm 39. Really? Yeah. He's really? Th yeah. He's really? 39. Yeah, I'm coming up on 40. No way. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm 28. So okay. So oh, yeah, about so about a decade. About a Wait, decade. are you really 35? I am. No way. How old did you think I was? I don't know. I didn't know. Did you think I was older or younger? Which one of us did you uh, think was older? <laughs> 
Actually, I didn't know. I never thought about it until this moment. <laughs> I just caught age, on camera. Just ageless. Yeah. <laughs> ageless. Well, ageless. Well, that's that's yeah. Nice. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Maybe what, a what did you older. think my pronouns were? I <laughs> <laughs> because they're she. They're apparently she her. This actually has all the pronouns on it. It says she, her, they, them, he, him, us. Why would it have all of them? <laughs> I don't on know. Can you pick all of them? I don't even. Just to cross out the ones you're not. Yeah. Gonna use. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah, I don't think it's strictly age, but there is a generational thing like that. That yeah. time when you kind of came of age is when you remember everything. And that's right. And yeah, I think that could be fun. What would you say was like the biggest movies of your like childhood? <sighs> I watched a lot of Disney Channel original movies. Okay. So this is where Brandon and I really bond. We like know about all the. Disney Channel original movies. I missed out on almost all of those except for Brink. I like Brink, Brink. I loved Brink. Yeah, yeah Brink, Johnny Brink. Tsunami, Smart like House, it, so. The Thirteenth Year. Roller I haven't heard of any of these. So oh, far. they're so good. And then and then High School Musical like blew it that out of the I water. Heard of, yeah. And yeah, I was like, happened. okay. To like my, me. I have a little bit of that connection because my sisters were growing up, you know, behind me, and so I, they were watching like High School Musical, and I would sit down and like, fine, I guess we'll watch High School Musical. How many sisters do you have? I didn't know you had siblings. Two younger sisters and one older brother. So I still, I kind of have my foot in some different yeah. ages because of that, so. Yeah, but I can't remember like the big movies that were like in theaters growing up. I, I watched all the Disney ones, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't really think of them, but I remember really enjoying Disney Channel original movies. So you, you would have been like, what, 2005, 2006? You would have been 11 or 12? Or I think that sounds right. I, my age always lined up with the year, or like my grade oh. always lined oh, up with the okay. year. So 2005, I was in fifth grade. 2006, I was in sixth grade, okay. so. Hey, Google, what are the top movies from 2005? I guess we don't have a Google device in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for a subscriber dare. Friends, if you're getting concerned about what's happening in the world, welcome to the party, pal. Well, now's the time to do something about it. Go to preparewithb.com and you'll save $250 on a life-sustaining three-month emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply, the nation's largest preparedness company. They want to help American families be prepared for the unthinkable and save money at the same time. That's why they're knocking 250 smackaroos off their popular three-month emergency food kit. It's their lowest price in three years. To save $250 per kit, Go to preparewithb.com right now while it's on your mind. Each kit contains enough meals for three months per person. You'll be eating comfortably instead of standing in government food lines or having to eat your cat. These kits are in stock and ship fast and free. They arrive in unmarked boxes for your privacy. So go to preparewithb.com right now and save $250 per kit. You will never regret this decision. Preparewithb.com it tastes a lot better than cat. This is Subscriber Dare. This is from Jason Thayer. Okay, third attempt for Subscriber Dare. My homeland of the Ozarks is known for three things, having lots of stones, <laughs> pugnacious citizens, and transportation hubs. We don't talk about the last one. What? <laughs> so if you either lift heavy stones and give a guttural yell, or fight for the honor of the Ozarks in a battle royale, then I will subscribe. Okay, so I have to lift some things and yell? You guys yeah. yell, I'll lift. Okay. Okay. I thought- I yell while you- uh, See, I've heard of the Ozarks and I didn't know it was she, famous for any What of were the things. bags for? Why did you guys bring the bags in? To weigh down the weight. <laughs> for more weight, okay. Wait, no, you have to do it again because I didn't yell while you were doing it. Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay. Um, Sub we just gained another subscriber. See, Woo! but the Ozarks, is that where the show The Ozarks I takes think so, place? Yeah. Like, how do you say it's known for three things and not list and not the show that everybody show. knows? It's the only and then I also I feel like it was known for when the COVID lockdowns like first started, there's like a lake of the Ozarks, right? Yeah. And there was like, okay. <laughs> that was one of the first places where it was like, look at all these people having a big pool party at the lake yeah. with no masks. That's what I think of but, when I, I think of the Ozark. And isn't oh. it, it's like a big vacation spot. Yeah. Like I thought that's what it was known for. Yeah. Kyle was supposed to lift it. Maybe it's the Ozarks in Utah or something. Maybe. His, it says his homeland. Maybe it's a country I've never heard of. Yeah. Well, you 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 co-opted the gender role, so that's fine with me. I mean, we are very. It didn't say. It doesn't it says, say Kyle. So if if you either, it, either, it, it says it, it says, doesn't address Kyle. It anywhere. says lift heavy stones and yeah. give a guttural yell, which we we did. all participated. So, or subscribe. 
Oh, so you're supposed to lift and yell or fight for the honor of the O's. Oh, yeah, we didn't. So we didn't. We're not going to have the we're battle not gonna do But then it says throw to Kyle lifting. Well, that, that was our notes. That, that, that was our was, notes. So. That wasn't part of the dare. Got it. So we. And you we, said, I don't need no man. And you jumped in there and did it. We did it. So Jason Thayer, you better subscribe. Is that what a deadlift is? What you just did? No. Because it says deadlift. It says deadlift. I just did. It like just says lift. Well, hey, but his note was just lift heavy. I mean, you you, you could technically deadlift that, but a deadlift is more like with a barbell. Bar, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a weird okay. grip on that. Anyway. All right, and uh, now it's time for uh, what's <laughs> in the news this week. What's in the news this week? Biden vows for abortion legislation to be his first law next year. Wow, planning ahead. Biden says the only way, the only sure way to stop these extremist laws that are putting in jeopardy women's health and rights is for Congress to pass a law. Okay. You know, you got to hand it to him for completing that long sentence with no, uh, <laughs> no gaffes. But though, we don't know that for sure, though, because yeah. it's just written down. They just quoted that, it. Was maybe that a he, tweet? Was maybe that... he stumbled through it. And have you noticed that when they transcribe it, have you ever seen this? When they transcribe it on the White House website, they take out all of yeah. the gaffes? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is the official record yeah. of what he said. I'm like, that's not what he said. So it's maybe something like that. So uh, if you look at the 12 stage, states in which the strictest abortion laws that allow pregnancy intervention to save a woman's life... I, that wasn't a complete sentence. It says, out of the 12 states with the strictest abortion laws, only three don't include the exception for women's health, but all of them include saving a woman's life. That was a complete sentence. Yeah. And all of the laws say pregnant person instead of pregnant woman. It's insane. <laughs> this is where we are. It's, it's insane. insane. It Did you guys it's hear insane. about the beauty... The beauty brand. Ulta Beauty, yes, yes. I don't know if we have that on the notes here, but that, that was... Well, insane. this, yeah, this should on. come up here because... Uh, I usually am just like, I, honestly, this job has saved me in so many ways because I come in here, I laugh about stuff, and I, it doesn't really affect me anymore. It kind of mm. heals it. So you should be paying us. Yeah, for free therapy, okay. basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there was this social media, this viral thing that's going on. I think mm. it was Ulta was the one yeah, I Ulta saw Beauty. where this yeah. like famous like guy who's a trans woman now who still goes by Dylan. Is like I'm gonna be a he's mom a, one day. He's I, not a trans I can do woman. He's I a want. trans girl. He's very specific that he's a girl, and he does all these videos about. Oh, really? You know I'm more experiencing about girlhood, and this is what girlhood is. It like. feels like just a character. It, it, like, and he's like, like he's like prancing even, through doesn't a meadow. Even oh, seem I love like meadows, he's taking and it's like, yeah, what is he doing? I it's, don't understand. It, it was definitely like very shocking to see this person on a podcast for this beauty brand Ulta Beauty t to talk about what about what, girlhood what, about yeah. what, let's we're yeah. gonna hear what womanhood's all about let's have these two people with penises come up on yeah. and talk about it and this person's like She's not talking about the, us She's the narrative yeah not you guys the narrative has so far, so far to go it <laughs> Uh, that could be fun. We could do us. We could make fun of it by putting you guys in wigs and I, doing this. We should do one a time in drag was too much. No, for me. no, we, I wouldn't put on a wig, but it, it, <laughs> it was could your be, idea. I think it'd be funny just to have two yeah. normal guys like, hey, we're here to talk about girls. Yeah, <laughs> I think that would be good. I, yeah, and and Jared loves wearing wigs, so maybe he could do it. I'm not. I'm not a woman. Well, and wasn't the host of the podcast like the Dylan is getting all the attention for it? But the host was also like a man. Yeah, and like it? honestly, I, I kind like of found it, it funny tell. that when yeah. the Dylan person said, um, "Yeah, I want to be a mom one day," and I can absolutely do that. I can do whatever I want. I was just like, okay. A, yeah. First of all, I I felt like the other person who's also trans was kind of like, how? Like, how are you going to do that, bro? <laughs> um, but I I just feel like. Ah, I just feel like it's just so ridiculous that they feel like they can rent out a a, a woman to surrogate their their love child of insanity, and I don't know. And then there was another one that also is being canceled right now by a lot of um, sane people. Um, I can't remember. Stay Lauder put a trans woman like what it means to be a woman is being. I don't understand a woman. It, it's such a weird like we propaganda like thing where all these all these companies are trying to push this stuff, and there's so, even the people out there that agree with this. There's so very few people that that's actually appealing to. It's I like don't understand pushing why away they their, keep, their core audience. Why they keep yeah. pushing that? Yeah, like it's and so it's dumb. weird that the whole the now the controversy in the laws that we were just talking about with the abortion laws. There, they're trying to call them all pregnant person and do away with the word mom. And then you have a trans activist saying, I they can, can be yeah. a mom. 
And then, like, and then deal, this Dylan guy can do the most offensive like caricature of a woman. Yes. Or a girl. Like, I'm a little girl. Hey, guys, I'm a woman. <laughs> and it's like, like, <laughs> let's get that as a gif. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. And so, I, I'm not a woman. I, I, start, I said I'm not a woman earlier, and then you guys cut me off. So there's just an isolated <laughs> thing clarify? of me going, I am not a woman. <laughs> we know, <laughs> Kyle. We I'm know. not a woman, but... I, I can absolutely be one. I assume that it's kind of offensive. Maybe our woman member here can can speak to this to like go through everything you go through as a woman and then you know you, you struggle through that stuff and you get to where you are today and then it's like someone can just be like i'm a, I'm a girl what, I, I don't know like like it just it just feels weird like i'm not saying you had a crazy like, hard life or anything but it's like right no i mean yeah i think that men and there women are, are presented, experiences that you have that men don't yes, have you know yes Pre- presented with different challenges i I'm not going to sit here and be like, being a girl is harder because I think men are faced with a lot of challenges that sure. women are blessed to not have to face. So it's it's not equal and it's not going to be. Um, but yeah, my hang up is like, how do the like diehard lefties, the ones that are like, women, abortion, blah, 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 like how do they feel about this? Because like, they're like down with the patriarchy. Oh, please stand yeah. right in front of me, ma- man with penis and wig. Please speak <laughs> speak for me and tell me what womanhood is about. Like I, I've actually seen some people like Macy Gray and some like, yeah. and Bette Midler have come out and saying like, yeah, this is, uh, this is nuts. And, uh, <laughs> And we can't like literally. This is nuts. Yeah, literally, as, as of a couple of years ago, it was only women have uteruses, and only women can have an, a, a, per, a perspective on abortion. abortion. Right. And now yeah. it's oh, men can get pregnant and be moms. If people <laughs> are are against the patriarchy, which I can't even stand that word because I just know that people use it in such a negative light, then how can you be for trans women's rights? Because that's still the patriarchy. Like, that's still people mm-hmm. with penises, like, taking over your power. And it, it doesn't really affect me, you know, but I definitely felt a little bit triggered by that um, by that social media clip. I was like, this is really weird that people are just like, I can be a mom. And I don't know, as I get older and get closer to the <laughs> the window of time where I'm probably going to start having children, I, I definitely feel way more in touch with this abortion topic and way more in touch with, like, trans women saying, like, I'm going to be a mom. I'm going to have kids. Like... It's definitely very odd and makes me feel some type of way. Let the records show that Chandler used air quotes around trans women. Hey! No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Nuh-uh. That's where they belong. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trans, not, I'm not quotes, criticizing you. I just, quotes for the audio listeners, trans. I wanted to know when you said trans women, you went like this. It, they, yeah, they should have If it were quotes. written out, if there's a transcript, every style. other letter it, would there's be There's quotes capitalized. around that every time. SpongeBob font. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's the deal with Biden and ice cream? We've got a timeline of all the times that Biden has been pictured with ice cream. So in 2008, we have a picture here of Biden in Ohio. He's looking pretty good there. He's, yeah, he's in got 2008, a he looked, He's aged. Looks pretty sharp. Horribly. Yeah. Uh, Wait, he looks really... That was only like a little while ago. Be, what, 14 he years looks, ago? You know what? He looks healthy there, but he already looks old. He looks he does like look healthy old. for yeah, an old right, man. Right, exactly. And he's got a vanilla cone in Ohio. Double, uh, Are these... Double fisting the uh, ice cream words. There. What? Ice cream. No, that's actual oh. ice cream. I know, but look in the back. Isn't that Comet Pizza in the back? Oh yeah, like Ice Cream Gate or something. I don't know. Like, like There's this. always code words with the food. Are you anyway, a conspiracy theorist? Like, move did you on. did you believe in Pizza Gate? Are you saying you oh, don't? We can, we can talk about in the Pizzagate? subscriber portion if you want. I just yeah, let's do that. Are you saying right, you don't look, believe in Pizza Gate? No, no, no. Look at that that kid. <laughs> Wait, we missed the other oh, one. Can you go back one. up? Look, that kid looks there's, terrifying. There's a vanilla chocolate swirl, and then next to him is Biden holding some ice cream. Obama, yeah. And he's got, <laughs> and he's holding. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> I hey, thought look, you must vanilla chocolate swirl. <laughs> and Biden joke. holding two ice cream cones, also flavored vanilla chocolate swirl. That's great. Wow. And <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to do that joke or not. Yeah, and he's double fisting the. No, we can. Tell You're you allowed that. to do I don't anything think at the get Babylon it. Bee. Uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> I had to double take. And we've got 2010 one here. He's Look, got a White, White, House, White House cherry. White House cherry in Pittsburgh. And the ice cream cone. Why? Okay. It only works. It only one. works one time. White House cherry in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Black and cherry. Are you guys making. And did you guys house? make up these flavors or are they actually. <laughs> and there's a scared looking girl with him. That becomes she looks like that that person at the counter looks like she'd be like an MSNBC commentator. Oh, yeah, I bet she is. Yeah. So this is January 12th. Hey, my birthday in 2012. Biden gets a vanilla and chocolate double scoop in Ohio. You a Capricorn? 
I don't believe in uh, that the stars have anything to do with our uh, fates. Well, I do, and you are definitely a this Capricorn. A Christian podcast. Okay, well, I, we come on. We don't talk about pig and Come on, the Zodiac is it? Oh, come on. May 16, 2012, VP Joe Biden hands out ice cream cones and gets a vanilla cone for himself in Ohio. There's a lot of Ohio in here. Was a lot of Ohio and a lot of vanilla. He, Maybe Ohio has really good chocolate, it seems. Yeah. Is that a Foster's Freeze? Um, it looks like a Foster's Freeze. No, it's look- a DQ. Uh, DQ, yeah. Yeah, there's a DQ sign in the back there. Yeah. What's next? June, tw- June 7, 2012, Biden gets a vanilla chocolate double scoop in North <laughs> These Carolina. Are horrible. And Man. there's another scared little girl in front of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, September 8th, 2012, VP Joe Biden gets vanilla chocolate swirl in Ohio. Why does he, does he go to Ohio for ice cream? I, there's a lot of Ohio. And hey, these pictures are starting to weird me out. Vice President, this is when he's Vice President, he gets a vanilla ice cream cone in Portland. And he's paying 20 bucks for it. I wonder if that uh, ice cream shop survived the riots in Portland. <laughs> Conspiracy Theory Chan, anymore. back in the chat. Every single Biden looks different. You uh, think that, you think they have multiple Bidens? And they just have them go to Ohio and get ice cream. So people yeah. don't think that he's still in the bunker or whatever. Mm. I don't know. I just, I also am really like weirded out by the like mid, the mid lick pictures. The mid lick pictures. Yeah. Like why are the journalists snapping the photo? Maybe right it's like now? the shutter, like, it is, and it they is, just pick uh, the one that's yeah. less. It like, is funny. Here's the one in uh, Ohio here. There's, there's a surprising number of these where he's like talking to little girls <laughs> while he's having a there are several little girls it's in this picture, always, and he's talking to one. Talking to little girls. Well, uh, talking is fine. July 21. He's, ra- he's around them a lot. Age is 12 enough. <laughs> it says it on the shirt. <laughs> Look, little <laughs> man ice cream. Why did he go to little man ice cream, oh, yeah. huh? Why? Little man. We need answers. Uh, July 20, 2015. Here's May 18th, 2016. VP Joe Biden goes to Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream in Columbus, Ohio. There's that lady There's, again. What is the point it's of this segment? Oh, doing? it is the same lady. Is it just... Just to look at the different Just to look at pictures. him eating ice cream? Okay, Here's so, so he likes ice cream. With Jimmy Fallon. Uh, playing devil's advocate here. I don't here. mind that he likes ice cream. What's wrong Who with ice cream? Like ice cream? Unless the ice cream is a code word but it does for feel, something else. But it does feel like some... like. PR consultant was like, we're going to make ice cream your thing. Yeah. Yes. Or something. Like He's that. like, we can't, make him more... we can't call it pasta with walnut sauce anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, we could, thank you. We could probably thank rapid you. fire through the rest of these, but we got a vanilla ice cream cone at uh-huh. a Philadelphia Flyers game, 2017, a vanilla cone at Cornell. <laughs> why, is he, why is he eating ice cream at Cornell? He's eating it on stage. On stage. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's a that was wow. This just makes me kind of like I kind of want ice cream. Yeah, Tw- uh, 2019, he gets a vanilla cone in New Hampshire. He looks so different. Um, chocolate point. chip ice cream cone in 2021. Is this supposed to be an order. This is more ice cream than I've eaten in my whole life. I yeah. Think. July 2021, vanilla cone <laughs> with chocolate sprinkles. You think his hands are sticky all cherry. the time because it like it yeah, always no, drips down the, over I, the cone. Yeah, so I don't like wow, it wow. He pulled down his mask. 2022, ice cream. he pulls not the mask very down. safe. Yeah. Biden. Uh, October 15th, 2022. Waffle cone. Wait, let, hey, scroll up a little bit. I need to read that intro. It says he has ice cream at a Baskin Robbins in Portland. This was last week. And this is where he said, I'm not concerned about the strength of the dollar. I'm concerned about the rest of the world. Our economy is strong as heck. Huh. All right. Oh, and we have a, we have a pie chart <laughs> breakdown <laughs> of all the different ice cream flavors pictured. He's Vanilla and then vanilla and chocolate, or the Obama. Yeah. Is, it's called. And the oh, cherry, cherry and chocolate oh. plus and chocolate like plus things. Uh, and then we need to answer this question What are your favorite flavors? Ooh. My favorite ice cream flavors are chocolate and coffee. Oh, I do like chocolate. And I, I like do to like to a. Mix them together. I do like coffee ice cream, yeah. Just mix them together, go back and forth, and yeah. it's so good. I like, I kind of like to do like peanut butter. Um, mm-hmm. I like cookie dough in, in there. Anything that has like chunks of something, like chunks of peanut Oreos. butter, or like chunks. Oh. Yeah, Oreos are good. I like that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I like the basics. I also I used to like mint chocolate chip a lot, and I also like um, Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah like Cherry they're, Garcia. Uh, they're Chunky Monkey. I love. It's yeah, like, like Americone Dream is has, really good. We're yeah. talking Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, which you know, whatever. Feel how you feel about them as a whatever. But the flavors. I'm a pretty conservative. Good. I don't. I don't boycott every company right. just because yeah. yeah. they yeah. disagree. Yeah. Okay. Except yeah. Ulta. When I heard about that, when I watched that Ulta thing, I was like, Donkey. I sorry, darn. I wish that I 
was an Ulta customer so I could boycott mm. them. But I don't like how can I hurt them? Because yeah. like I don't want to I don't want them to survive because they're so stupid. But I but That's most people dumb. don't boycott companies. They just don't. Mm. They're like, ah well the product's still good, even yeah. though I'm woke. There there are some things that are beyond the pale for me, like the Ulta thing. Like I'm not gonna buy my makeup at Ulta anymore. So uh, Chick-fil-A has the slowest drive through study uh, says. Study. Sad. Probably uh, because took, they're uh, so busy. The average wait time was eight minutes and twenty nine seconds. Meanwhile, the average KFC wait was KFC wait was five minutes and two seconds. Wrong, wrong, wrong. In and out is way longer. In and out takes forever. Maybe they're just doing that. Dude, team. In and Out is always backed up. Like it's they back always, up onto every the time. road. Onto they the cause every all, the, time. Yeah. all the time. Oh, it's, it's always takes like but I feel 30, like, 35 minutes to But get I feel like it's that. not really a fair comparison because like they just have way more customers. And yeah. It's like it means they're busier. It's a longer line because there's people there. But I th- I, I, I feel like if I, if you had the same length line at an In and Out as a McDonald's, the McDonald's would take way longer to get through. I feel like McDonald's is pretty quick. They're pretty they're, quick. They're drive through. Yeah, Even I don't know. They're not Even when it's real long, food. I feel like I get through there. Pretty oh man, quickly. they're very quick. They've got. But see, that. I don't use drive throughs as much. Like I, I feel like I used to get fast food at the drive through a lot more than I do now. I haven't used them much in a while. I almost don't bother going to McDonald's if there's anybody like past the speakers because yeah. it's just like it's just going to take so long. I, I, and they always making me make you go park at the like reserved oh, yeah. spot and we'll wait for your food constantly. You. I'm just like, why do they? Well, do that's that? what they do to get their times up. I know because they have a little timer and it's like if if they take more than 30 seconds with you at the window they get dinged for it right so they came up with this plan so of like just send him on and park you and then they ignore you oh I wow hate. so it says Fun here if the study were, they actually account for this in this article it says what the sensational headline fails to capture is that the wait time is simply longer because more people go wait did we write this or is that part of the article it, this, I think this looks probably. like somebody actually said this because if, if the study, if the were, study considered, were considering quickest service per car, Chick Fil A actually comes in fastest with an average of one minute and forty seven seconds per car. Well, so they're they're the fastest. So it's per they're car. the fastest, but the headline says they're the slowest. Yeah, um, yeah. Brandon oh, wrote this. Brandon wrote it. this. Okay. Brandon knows. So his I don't stuff. know if he actually did the math. It sounds like he, he did. It sounds it like he went. He never makes up numbers or anything. Yeah, that's true. It is time for banger of the week. Banger of the week. With Tulsi Gabbard out of Democratic Party, title of hottest Democrat goes back to Nancy Pelosi. Ooh. And there's a lovely picture comparing the two beauties. I wish they I used don't the get, one of, with her on I the don't beach. I that one. I think is it's... Is it just... Like, I get, I I get that it's ironic, but I, is there I anything else to it? Okay. It's what? It's just what? Absurdist. You don't get it, Adam? Like, I get that she's not hot and that it's ironic, but I, beyond... like. I, know, I, I just it, it doesn't it doesn't land with me that I think that's just there are like, no hot liberals. Oh, maybe, maybe but like that. AOC is hot, right? I mean, no. Like she's she's more I hate attractive. Her. I hate her. Like she's more. <laughs> that attractive is really. Than I like, think that's why she's so popular. Is because everyone's like she's so stupid and she's so hot. I mean, oh, even, she's so dumb even, and hot and hot and dumb. There's even <laughs> other Democrats that I would say like I I, I don't, can't think of them offhand, but I feel like there are some that I disagree with them. I, don't I like think you're them, probably, but probably right. more attractive than Nancy Pelosi. It's yeah, just, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I think it's a yeah, joke. I, I think it's a joke, and I didn't even think about AOC because I was too distracted by Nancy. And now here's the the bomb of the week. Top is this the bomb? Oh, no, this is a runner-up. Oh, this is a runner-up. Okay. Uh, top 10 achievements Democrats can tout going into the midterms. It looks like just that picture of Nancy Pelosi really gets good traffic Pelosi for us. I think Pelosi gets people it's going. On, it's on both of the bangers. Uh, we can look at a few of these. The standard of living is up 500% among Ukrainian politicians. Hilarious memes of Biden eating ice cream have increased 40%, and that's in this podcast alone. Look at that. Yeah, and just in this podcast. Thousands of Americans have been saved from the threat of seeing somebody pray in front of an abortion clinic. By oh, a... Because of the okay. pro-life thing, yeah, the FBI thing. The Paw Patrol movie was actually pretty okay. Uh, you've learned to appreciate the taste of bulk ramen. More women of color are piloting the attack drones that bomb Syrian children. Progress! Afghani women don't have to go to school anymore. Or work. Or make any decisions at all. Uh, you bought a house, are slowly paying off your debts, and made tons of new friends in Animal Crossing. That is so weird. Uh, Bob from Newport got married. Congrats. And finally, there's an 800. There's been an 800 in, uh, bleh, an 800 percent increase in people missing Trump. All right. So that was our runner-up banger of the week. Do you guys play Animal Crossing? 
I never have. I played the one on the DS, and I didn't go much beyond that. I've played those little kind of sim games, and sometimes I get into them. Stardew Valley is the one that I enjoyed the most. But so I, I've played when I was like 10 or 11 on a friend's GameCube, I think, and it was like kind of cute and kind of fun. And I have the Switch now, and I think I saw an ad for Animal Crossing, and it's so weird. It's like, wow, have your own house and your own garden. And like, it, 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 I don't know, it was weird that it's like encouraging people to like jump into the virtual world. And I, well, I, we, it was we, very bizarre. We interviewed someone. Were you here for that one where we interviewed that guy who said Animal Crossing is destroying Western civilization? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. I forget who it was. It was, it was weird. It was, was like giving the, me like He was one of the guys that talked Black about like humanism I think so, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, that was that, very interesting. That's, that's kind of the vibe I was getting from it. I was yeah. like, this is giving me like Black Mirror energy. There was like, a little oh, bit of the like. just come into the, the cloud. You don't, you know. Go into your pod. Pod, yeah, uh, live your, your life virtually. Pod. Make yeah. friends online. You don't need outside. But it also, weird. it's just cute little animals. There was That's somebody. What they, yeah. Watch it, I think. <laughs> who, who was that? That was he was interesting on our podcast. And there was somebody I saw on Jordan Peterson's podcast once where they're discussing that, and they were saying that like as this generation, both in terms of your avatars online and all these like online games, your that virtual identity is starting to take primacy over mm. your like real life identity. It's very strange. Yeah. yeah it's, that's and we true. grew up without the phones yeah. as children. Well, we did. You you already No, I got my first iPhone, the smartphone at... Um, well, smartphones, but I mean... Yeah. No, I got my first cell phone, which was like a prepaid phone at, in like fifth You're grade. You're just a little baby, Chandler. But I'm just kidding. Yeah, I no. just, you know, see the kids like going to sleep like this, waking up like this. Like that's really bad for your brain. It's going to slow down your cognitive function. When did you first have the internet like... Uh, did you first like have internet access either at your inter- house or at internet school or access? I feel like was probably around maybe tenth or eleventh grade, and it was like extremely slow. Like yeah. you'd, you'd, you'd like if you were if the you were loading AOL. a picture, it'd be like did you did you did you did you did you know what it was? <laughs> it, was not, trucks, yeah. it was when because I collected Star Trek cards. It was usually pictures of Star Trek cards. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. And you're still collecting those? Yeah, That's I got sweet. back into it during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. I I remember. The internet in the early days, the AOL would do the dial up and do like the step one, step two, three. Yeah, yes. I remember the music and everything. Wee! It was so obnoxious. And if someone was on the phone, you couldn't do internet. Yeah, remember all of that. And it was get like kicked off slow. You... And now the internet is so crazy. Like it's so different and overregulated. And even the early days of social media, like MySpace and Facebook in the beginning were so fun. And Instant Instagram, Messenger. That's Instagram right. in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, so fun. And now it's like overregulated, over algorithmatized, and it's driving everybody nuts. I've mentioned this a few times, but there's a guy who wrote for Funny or Die that wrote an article called like Facebook just fired all my friends or something. And he was talking about how they used to make content, uh, comedy videos for the internet. And people would go to funnyordie.com or whatever it was and be like, oh, that's one of my bookmarks. And then Facebook kind of mainstreamed everything where everybody just goes to Facebook and you have to build your stuff for that algorithm. Yeah. And once they kind of flipped the switch and said, we're not promoting that kind of content anymore, you can't have these fun websites like Homestar Runner yeah. that like, because every morning you'd go, you'd you'd boot up your twenty favorite websites, yes, you know, and go to them, and they were all unique and yeah. special, and had different look and feel and different community. And now it's like, just like homogenous. Like everybody go to Facebook, and yeah. we will serve you the articles that we think you should see. And right. I, I hate that. It I know is we're so track, weird. But. Yeah, I used to go on <laughs> websites more. Well, be and sure now to it's follow like, us on Facebook. <laughs> yes, but it's so weird. Yeah, I've been scrolling through Facebook recently, and I'll see like. Jennifer Lopez fans suggested for yeah, you. Suggested I'm like, I, I don't. Yeah. Wh- I hate what? the suggested and I for you. Yeah. Remove. Like, I don't like Jennifer Lopez or her fans. Like, why are you sending this to me? And I keep seeing these weird suggest. Like, why would they? They're doing a bad job because they're suggesting stuff to me that I do not like or care about at all. It's speaking it, of stuff we don't care about or like at all. Here's the bomb of the week. <laughs> I kind of see Facebook as a really dumb, <laughs> like, like a really dumb boyfriend or girlfriend or something that's like. You mentioned one time that you like something, and they're like, "I'm gonna, you you oh you this said is, this you is like, what you like you said you like spaghetti yeah, yeah. I got you spaghetti and I'm you're like I just you, kind of said I like it you for Christmas Cause, now because I looked up NFL memes because I wanted to see if they copied our joke yeah you know so I, I saw the oh, yeah, thing, yeah. I looked it up and now my whole feed is like NFL jokes oh this do, guy likes do you want NFL. NFL I'm like no not really I just wanted to see yeah. it one time their new algorithms are absolutely terrible speaking Meta. of terrible yeah bomb here's our bomb of the week bomb of the week. Get a load of this loser billionaire who doesn't even own a failing social media platform. 
I think this was, and it shows Jeff Bezos. I think this was in response to what Kanye buying. Kanye buying. Going to buy Parler. Parler and and Elon buying Twitter. And Elon it's, buying it's Twitter. A thing yeah. Billionaires seem to be Kanye's doing. Kanye's been dominating the headlines lately. Jeez. Yeah, just all the time. Americans are discovering that if we want to change the nation, we have to change the way the marketplace works, and that change starts with you, with your local communities, and with your wallet. Be deliberate with your dollars and reject woke corporations. Imagine a world in which every single dollar you spend would go towards companies that share your values for life, liberty, and patriotism. Now with the Public Square app, you can. Public SQ, or Public Square, is an app and website that connects freedom-loving Americans to the community and companies that share their values. Engage in a nationwide platform with the largest directory of patriotic businesses and consumers all while accessing exclusive savings at businesses that see the world the way you do. The marketplace is free to join for consumers and business owners alike. To get started and shop your values, download the Public Square app from the App Store or Google Play, or click on the link in the video description. Okay, well, now it's time for Sizzler Facts. Uh, 20 weeks ago, we debuted a new feature to the podcast called Sizzler Facts. Because you suck. (laughs) Guys, I'm trying to do a very serious segment here. Uh, called Sizzler Facts, James Cameron was inspired to write the 2009 blockbuster hit Avatar while at a Sizzler restaurant in Pasadena, California. Many people believe the movie was a precautionary tale of the dangers of industrialism and colonialism, but in fact, the primary theme of the movie is that of choices, similar to how Sizzler offers us choices of fresh, hot-cooked meals and cool, refreshing salad options. Jake Sully, brilliantly portrayed by Sam Worthington, was offered the choice to inhabit the body of his avatar and then later choose to confess he was a spy among the Navi people. Neytiri chooses Sully, and Sigourney Weaver chose to play the career-making role of Dr. Grace Augustine, an exobiologist and head of the avatar program. This has been Sizzler Facts. That was a good one. I didn't know he wrote... He came good. up with the idea in a sizzler. I didn't know either. Where did we? I wonder where we found that at. That's interesting. And now it's time for sizzler comments. Sizzler comments. I have a sizzler patch. Says. Uh, who is it? Uh, scro- scroll up, cat. Fishy, Fishy the, the penguin. penguin. Okay. Cool patch. And there's a picture of a Sizzler, Sizzler family patch. steakhouse. That was like that old was the school. really old logo. Yeah, that was yeah. the old one back in the seventies or whatever. Patchwork. And here's one from Legolas on the shelf. Imagine, which is a great name. <laughs> there's a Photoshop I on like Legolas. The picture also, yes. Imagine walking home. You, you look a bit haggard, what with your shaggy hair, peg leg, etc. Alas, someone has found your bowl slash portrait. Just a bit further down the lane, your buzzer lights up as the love of your life throws his front door wide open, taking you in just as you are. Thank you, Sizzler. That's a reference to, to the, the last episode. Sizzler yeah, mystery the... we had last week. Uh, we apparently, oh, yeah, we endorse stealing things from Sizzler because we want Sizzler products. We want memorabilia. Uh, this is from Thoughts and Players. Message received, I will attempt to steal a Sizzler buzzer, hat, or apron, anything for the B. <laughs> Stealing is wrong. This is a Christian Thou podcast. shalt not steal, but Unless get, you're it, a get us that buzzer. But borrow and lend Yes, and then we'll fine. return it to them during the restoration year. I worked at a Sizzler in Trenton, New Jersey for three days back in 97. I never thought I would regret not swiping something on the way out until now. Heather Johnson. See, guys, this is bad. Everyone's like... No, I'm, let's keep stealing it. I, I, I like, feel like when you leave a job, like you like you, you might have a yeah. name tag or like there's got to be yeah. something. Like that's not... Take a souvenir. Yeah. I think that's... if you were, Okay, that's different. If that's you keep your old apron or something, if you keep your old uniform. Yeah, yeah, like your old aprons there, maybe you'd forget to return it. Also, like, aren't they like money from really the, the struggling and going to go out of business Yeah, can you get us some soon? Sizzler cash from their <laughs> cash register? Isn't that like why... Is, is that... Maybe that's a factor in why they're going out of business. Are we contributing to the Is everybody stealing the buzzers? No. Of- no, I don't think so. I think, if anything, we're raising their profile. I think so. We're almost at a million subscribers, and every one of those people go to Sizzler. Use code BEE for 10% off your bill. And here's a final Sizzler comment from Christine Johnson. We don't know if Christine is related to Heather or not. There's a Sizzler here in my town. I'll check to see if I can get some swag. And then nice. the, the squinty smile emoji. Mm-hmm. All right, now it's time for weekly news with our very own Adam Yenser. It's time for the Weekly News with Adam Yetzer. Here's what's happening this week. 
Researchers at Boston University developed a new COVID strain in mice with an 80% death rate. The mice will be served at Boston Wet Market. Eminem turned 50 this week. He now goes by Dad Bod Shady and uses a weekly organizer for those blue and yellow purple pills. Georgia Republican candidate Herschel Walker admitted to writing a $700 check to an ex-girlfriend, but denied it was for an abortion. Walker insists that abortions only make up 3% of the services his checks to ex-girlfriends provide. eBay is refusing to sell any Jeffrey Dahmer-related Halloween products on its website. Omaha Steaks is also refusing to sell any Jeffrey Dahmer-related products. A sunfish found floating dead in the North Atlantic Ocean broke the world record for largest bony fish, weighing in at 6,050 pounds. Wait, wait, we caught a bigger walleye, said two guys in Ohio. This week at a race in Las Vegas, Bubba Wallace became the first driver to ever win NASCAR's middleweight championship belt. Uber Eats is going to start offering marijuana delivery service in Toronto, and chances are you're going to order Uber Eats again that night. Ulta Beauty was widely criticized for bringing trans activist Dylan Mulvaney, who is biologically male and possibly a Chris Kattan character, onto their girlhood podcast to discuss his desire to be a mom. Take a look. Now I know I can find love. I know I can still be a performer. I know that I can have a family. I want to be a mom one day. And I absolutely can. Now people are right to be critical. Claims like this from the transgender community are absurd. Being a mom is based on objective biological factors. First, you have to be female. Second, you have to have kids. And third, you have to be so fat that if you sat on a rainbow, Skittles would pop out. That's what it means to be a mom. Everyone's mom is those things. But Dylan is none of those things. He's not female, he doesn't have kids, and he's not so fat that when he sits around the house, he sits around the house. To pretend that mom is just some arbitrary identity you can assume is insulting to actual moms, and your mom does not deserve to be insulted. (laughs) That's it for weekly news. Be sure to subscribe to the Babylon Bee podcast channel and come see me live at the Punchline Philly on November 2nd and TK's Comedy Club in Dallas November 10th to 13th. Ah, that was really funny, Adam. Ah, thank you. And now it's time for unfunny things. The left can't meme. We had our team pull... This is a popular segment we did, I don't know, a year ago or so, where we looked through leftist memes to see if they were funny or not. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen these yet, so I haven't I, seen I, no, these maybe either, they're yes. good. We don't know. Let's see if the left is good at comedy or not. Can the left meme? Here's the first one. Uh, so it's Jesus talking to an, an injured man, the leper or something. It says, and Jesus said, screw you, leper. I ain't no libtard socialist. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. It makes me laugh. I I don't think... Are you laughing because you think it's funny or because of how bad it is? Like, it, yeah, it feels like somebody's making fun of leftist memes when they made that. All right, and then here's one of Jesus leaning into the frame. And he says, in case you're still curious about what I would do, I wouldn't put children in cages. I like that. Hashtag, what would Jesus do? I like the tilted Don Perez 7. (laughs) That was obviously a jab at Trump. But isn't the crisis, the border crisis, like way worse now? Yeah, it's gotten worse, worse. and some of the cages were from the Obama era. I assume this was made back, I assume this meme was made back in the the Trump day, yeah. Oh, this is a picture of Bill Murray in a, this is obviously a screen grab from a movie that I have not yet seen. Sorry, like I said. Do you know what the movie's called? Is it Groundhog Day? It is. (laughs) Adam totally gave me a hint. Um, That's a great screen grab. Only in America do we accept weather predictions from a rodent, but deny climate change evidence from scientists. Those are very equivalent things. The Science the funny tradition with the groundhog is real. Did you was this something you celebrated Groundhog Day in, in uh, Pennsylvania? Like, yeah, my brother has gone to Punxsutawney okay. for Groundhog Day. I just assume I, it's a bigger I, thing out there. Than it's it's me. definitely bigger in Pennsylvania than maybe elsewhere. But um, yeah, I I always liked Groundhog Day. My grandfather would actually go to groundhog dinners where they would like have like a celebration oh, really? wow. like that day. Like it's and the stuff beginning of for, what uh, season? Spring. spring? It's yeah. the beginning of spring, and the groundhog Punxsutawney Phil comes out of his little den, and if he sees his shadow, it means there's six more weeks of winter. And if he doesn't, then it means spring is the weather will get warm and it'll come early. But it's a big to do. They have like these guys with like uh, the long the black keepers jackets, of the groundhogs like formally and dressed, and they bring them out and make a big prediction and stuff. That sounds really cool, and I think yeah. that like 
animals have their own like clocks going on. I think that's like a very accurate way to measure and, what season we're in. And I started a bit one year on the Ellen show where it was we have our own groundhog in California named Rancho Cucamonga Jones. And he comes out of his den every year and just predicts that there's going to be like six more years of summer that this just never, <laughs> it's just it, never it, ending. it never changes. And I and the other writers, we loved this bit, but um, I think Ellen stumbled over the words Rancho Cucamonga Jones. And it, it was funny, but then I kept trying to bring the character back again, but we were never allowed to bring it back <laughs> again. <laughs> but I wanted to start the California groundhog. So they did do it once. They did do it once. They, did, yes. they didn't bring it yeah, back. Yeah. Oh, it's sad. Well, we'll have to but do but it he here sits on, the on he sits by his pool with a Mai Tai. <laughs> and like, then yep. we all got, and we loved it so much. I will wear my Rancho Cucamonga Jones shirt. Oh, I can't wait. You I have a shirt awesome. with the character oh, on it. That. Yes. We all made shirts with him on it. I feel like we need more local traditions like that. I love yeah. goofy local traditions where they get way into it and yeah. stuff like that. All right. Here's one. Uh, what's this guy's name? Sam again? Elliott. Sam, Sam Elliott. It? Yeah. So it's Sam Elliott and he's looking off a very gruff. Um, he says, abortion is murder, but food is food. <laughs> What? <laughs> I like that one. I do think that was funny, but I just find it dark, not political. Like, I don't know what message that's saying it's about saying abortion. It's saying like, okay, so you're against abortion, but you'll still eat meat. Oh, I thought it was about eating like a, the babies. I don't get the joke. I thought it was you oh, abort the baby and then maybe, maybe the left why it's can't terrible. meme because I can't, I, I didn't understand what it, message I, was going I for. I thought he was hunting and he's like hunting his animal. I like Do the, I have I, to know the movie? Is, is that movie something No, specific? they always use like Sam Elliott to like say things like for their political yeah. side, but I don't even know what his politics I thought it was like abortion is bad, but food is food like they're going to eat the babies because they're starving. I like the dark humor interpretation. Yeah. Of but, but see, I only like it in the sense of dark humor. I don't understand what political message it's I don't know what it means. All right. Here's one of Robert Downey Jr. rolling his eyes and it says, the face you make when Republicans post stupid Hillary email memes or the same old dead babies or steal my gun memes. I love it because I just laughed at a dead baby joke. <laughs> the same old dead babies. Ugh, There's so Adam laughing they never at the stop dead talking about the dead babies yeah. or the Hillary emails. Did we put the Hillary merch campaign in this list as well? She, has, the, what, she basically started a merch yeah. line that says, but her emails. Yeah. Mm. And I just think that's so stupid because it's like, like yes, but you did. You did, yes. you did delete emails. <laughs> and it's, that's like and, really bad. And I also feel like that was a big deal at the time, but there's so many other gripes Republicans have about both her right, it's and the not Democrats since then. <laughs> I really don't hear Republicans saying the but her emails yeah. thing legitimately much anymore. Yeah. Have you guys noticed that like no politicians ever actually have to pay the consequences for their oh, scandals? Yeah, never, yeah. Ever? Except like Trump. He, Trump gets raided yeah, by the he's, FBI. He's been, he's been having a hard time. But I mean, most people like... Well, that she can just flaunt like, yes, I mishandled like 30,000 in classified mm. emails. But yeah. Trump is I can, like, I can yeah. sell shirts about it. And now she can joke about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's pretty crazy. I do feel like to a certain extent, obviously Trump's a real threat. He's kind of an outsider. But I think that career politicians are kind of on this inside yeah. cult for type sure. thing. No, they're protected. They, they always, like, it's the good old boys club yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Ha ha ha. This is Betty White. Um, may she rest in peace. Ha ha ha. You're a woman and you vote Republican? God, you're stupid. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I acknowledge it's just things that they say over a celebrity's face. That's like there's not a no, meme. There's no joke. That's not a meme at life. all. I acknowledge that we're pulling the absolute worst of the worst of yeah. liberal memes, but these are still so bad. They I just are. love it. Yeah. It's I'm funny sure how can, bad they are. We need to do a the right camp meme where we pull the really bad boomer Republican memes. There are definitely bad right wing. I think oh, there yeah. are funny right wing memes, yeah. but there are also some really, really bad, bad ones that are kind of the equivalent yeah. of this. Yeah. All right, here is uh, Will Ferrell dressed as legendary uh anchor man Ron Burgundy. Have you seen this movie? Have you seen Anchorman? Oh my gosh. Wow. You got to It's really good. Like, I know some of the ones people say, oh, you got to watch that it, movie and it doesn't age well. Anchorman, I I Anchorman is like one. every line is quotable. Every line is I think quotable. I started this one. Did Judd Apatow produce this one too? Yes. I really like Judd Apatow films. So, okay. Did he produce Dodgeball? I have no idea. I don't know. I just really love Dodgeball. All right. So, uh, Ron Burgundy is staring at you like you're an idiot and he says, I saw someone in a sweater today. So, climate change must be a hoax. Stay classy, deniers. Uh, here's like a crazy rednecky looking woman missing teeth and going cross-eyed. And she says, I votes Republican because that their Reagan feller said voting Republican would make me rich after they gets too rich. <laughs> These are I, don't so <laughs> I don't even get it. Even that get last it. fragment really. Yeah. I like how they really just had to keep going. Yeah. That was okay. Awesome. This is a picture of a 
submerged iceberg. It's like where the tip of the iceberg, the of the iceberg is, iceberg is like much right. smaller than the That's beneath correct. the surface. So the top says, the tip says, abortion rights. And then underneath the ocean surface says, access to birth control, marriage equality, gender affirming care, health care privacy. Is this supposed to be funny? Is it saying that when you take away abortion rights, you take away all these other yeah, really like important that, that's things? That's the message uh, it's trying to send, but it's not, it's not very it's not accurate reading. or funny. It's not reading. Okay. Try again. All right, here's one that shows a hurricane uh, coming to Florida. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> this is funny. Laugh. I like that. <laughs> Climate change is fake. Climate. Hold, Hold my beer. beer. <laughs> and there's See, a hurricane. No, That's good. It's I, I actually like that one. In this, <laughs> but it's probably the dark humor of the hurricane going to destroy everyone. But, oh, yeah? but it's also like hurricanes came before climate change yeah, so it's, was just a gonna, thing, it's a dumb point but it's yeah, done well but I it like, is funny i like hold my beer yeah. it's coming in it is possible that we are having an effect on climate yeah but i, find I think it it's exaggerated very 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 sus yes it's extremely yes. exaggerated and it's used as a as like a political yeah. I, I agree a hundred percent yeah just I, I never call myself like much. a climate change denier because i think the things we do do impact yeah. it but they exaggerate the degree and the severity and how fast it's happening and what a response to be how yeah, we can adapt to exactly. it take shorter showers carpool skip up meat it's like um yeah. actually like yeah. china is doing a yes, lot no of harm no matter what we do planet. here china is polluting way more and than but of course let's i oh, that's another thing that's you guys really sound like the redneck on the meme who's like i'll oh, just vote <laughs> republican dirty, dirty. the reagan feller told me there's no climate change i was thinking about how i ordered like a I'm this is kidding. just a little quick thing i ordered a high quality athleisure set and it wasn't very cheap and i was like is that so, shirt is that clothes yes oh it was like a shirt and and joggers set. It was like for lounge. It's a lounge set from Alpha Elite. Use code BEE. <laughs> anyway, so so I ordered it and I was so happy. It was like French terry cotton. I was like, wow, this is so cool. And like, it was it made in France? And I flip it over because it wasn't super cheap. And it was made in China. And I was like, wow, we have really screwed ourselves. We've outsourced all of our manufacturing to China. Even the high quality stuff that's more expensive is still made in China. That's why when the pandemic hit, everything slowed down. I just think we've really, we've really screwed ourselves. Mm -hmm. is that, am I allowed to say that? We've really shot ourselves in the foot there because <laughs> no, it's true. Like that's really bad. We've I wonder outsourced. what Republican Jesus would think yeah. about what you're saying. So this next yes. meme is, uh, it's Jesus uh, kneeling in front of an American flag with uh, a shotgun on his lap. He says, uh, Republican Jesus, guns for all, but no health care. I'm pro-life. I think that's more of a like a lever action uh, rifle. Is it? I think so. It's hard to tell. It's very pixelated. See, yeah. uh, is it your turn? I guess. Or? Okay, so this one is a is a swimmer, okay. and a shark that is labeled COVID nineteen about to eat the swimmer, and then underneath says the upcoming economic crisis. Okay. And then underneath that says climate change, <laughs> and it's a giant. It's it's megalodon. I don't. Is this a left? Is this a liberal meme? Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, it, it was very confusing. I don't even understand what the point is. All right. Well. Oh, maybe it's saying. Hold on. Can we go. I think it's saying what is like a bigger threat to us. Yeah, like climate. So change. it's like for a human, like COVID nineteen is like a minor threat that we're all obsessed over. But that the economic like a conservative crisis. Talking the point. economic yeah, right. crisis is bigger. Which the middle one sounds like a conservative, right? Thing. That's what right. I'm saying. So then the bottom of one is like climate is change the climate is way worse change. than so, the economic. So maybe that was a conservative one, and they added the bigger shark uh, to that's it. Possible. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, well here's one. This is the classic two button meme where the guy's sweating and trying to decide which button to press. And the first one says, "The DMV is a giant bureaucratic cluster f and a waste of taxpayer dollars." And the one on the right says. Everyone who votes should have a photo ID. <laughs> Those are so not related. And then the sweating person is Republican. Republican. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I've, okay, everyone, hate, everyone hates the DMV. <laughs> yeah. It, the way the... Go okay. I keep getting off topic. I'm sorry. But the way the government has gotten so, like, watered down and lame is because it's overfunded and too large. You know? Yeah, you got too... Yeah. There's and also, when you call the IRS and you call the DMV and you call like the unemployment hotline, the f whole music is the same. And really? that is a problem. If you put all that over a picture of Betty White, it could be a meme. <laughs> <laughs> Please do that. Hold music Please the do same. that. She's saying it. Production yeah. people. <laughs> 
All right, well, let us know if you think that the leftists memed appropriately in the comments. How how would you rate the leftist memes? We'd love to hear your feedback. And if you find any leftist memes that you think are funny, send them Yeah, I'd love I'm to curious. see them. I'm curious if there are some funny We'll ones. do a left can meme segment, yeah. and we'll do a right can't meme segment coming soon. Well, now it's time for hate mail. Treasure in heaven is great, but it's not going to buy you a tank of gas. So let's take a moment to briefly review the current state of our economy and the global effect the war between Russia and Ukraine has had. We're in for a tough year here, and Biden's printing and spending could be catastrophic for the U.S. dollar and the market. That's why a growing number of financial analysts are recommending you diversify with gold and silver now. And the only company we recommend is Allegiance Gold. Our friends at Allegiance Gold can help you protect your IRA or 401k with physical gold and silver and have it delivered securely right to your door. The team at Allegiance Gold takes the time to educate their clients on the importance of having a financial portfolio that's diversified with gold and silver. Allegiance Gold has been one of the top precious metals firms in the nation for their commitment to protecting your hard-earned savings. They have an A-plus from the Better Business Bureau, a five-star rating with Trustlink, and they're AAA rated with the Business Consumer Alliance. If you act now by calling them and you mention Babylon B, We'll even give you $500 of free silver on a qualified purchase. Call 844-790-9191 to get this exclusive offer. Or you can visit allegiancegold.com slash B. That's B-E-E. -E. Call 844-790-9191. That's 844-790-9191. Or visit allegiancegold.com slash B-E-E. -E. Adam Ford. So we wrote an article, mm -hmm. Scandal After FBI Discovers 48 Gigabytes of Anime on Matt Walsh's Computer. Now this is in response to Matt Walsh, who said recently said on his show that anime is satanic. Mm -hmm. All anime. Said all anime is satanic. satanic. Do you guys like anime at all? I'm indifferent to it. I, yeah, I, I just like I. I never I, into one. See, I I never got into it, and then it kind of surprised me when it got as big as it did. Because I think when I was younger, I saw it as like a nerd thing. Like nerds were into anime, and I'm surprised how like culturally prevalent it became. Well, it's Pokemon it, I, and Dragon Ball Z yeah, considered watched, anime. Those are I watched animes. Pokemon a little bit when I was a kid. I watched yeah, it a little bit, but I was more into the games than, mm -hmm. yeah. than the yeah. cards. Yeah. Or the but show. no, like, I've heard, like, some of the anime movies are supposed to be, like, epically yeah, good, like, but I've really never good. I've never watched them, yeah. yeah. And I watched Spirited Away. Mm. So here's a comment from Snek on our website, and t they tag Travis and said, Travis, I would like to order a hit piece on whoever wrote the Matt Walsh anime article. And there's a picture of a Japanese woman bowing and with the, you know, the hands uh, together. Yeah. Um, Some cherry blossoms in Mount Fuji behind her. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, so Travis uh, is here with us, and he's going to respond to that. He also had some thoughts on The Phantom Menace, which he wrote in a premium article on our website, if you're a subscriber, so check that out. Um, Travis, go ahead and give us your thoughts. All right, so here, here's a yeah. This this says not hate, hate mail, mail, which is odd to have in the hate mail segment. Unless you, unless take, you take it that, it that way. way, okay. Maybe it could be interpreted that way. Is the Dak Macintosh asks is the Asian guy Odin Fong? I've never seen the two in the same place at the same time. Oh, Brandon, is that what they're talking? Are they talking about Brandon? Is Odin Fong? Is that who Brandon played in the uh, Samurai episode? I don't know. I, I don't. don't I don't. Odin, I don't know who Odin that's, Fong. That's that's Odin Fong. Oh, on that's the screen like right there. I think. Oh. That looks like a I an mean, album cover. I don't. And Brandon can sing his tushy off, so it's maybe the, it is. I mean, granted, as white people living in America, sometimes we mistake Asian people like we think they look similar. While well, they can all tell each other apart, and they probably look at white people and they're like, you know, you guys all look which the same. Which one? An Asian guy ever walks up to another Asian guy is like, oh, oh, I thought you were me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but all of that to say. I don't think Brandon looks particularly like that guy. No, and Br yeah, I don't think they look alike. I yeah, there are Asian people that Brandon looks more similar to than that. Mm. I agree. All right, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned if you're a subscriber. We're going to look at bonus hate mail, a classic article of the week, and subscriber submitted headlines. We're also going to ask Chandler the improved second set of ten questions. No, <laughs> I mean you don't yay. want to answer them. The second ones are better. I feel okay. Like. She's a classic Taurus. Oh, okay. I'm a Leo. Thank Classic you very cancers. much. Classic Now it's time for subscribers. Thanks, guys, for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Four people. 
Coming up next, for Babylon Bee subscribers. The bee should know better. A woman on her own is not funny. <laughs> I, mean, I can't argue with that. Like, uh, she has to be with a man and then she can be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So not, you know all those drugs. drugs that, like, you know all those drugs that I did, guy. Was that okay? I just <laughs> was I, that I, wrong. I, Should I, I didn't, not have done I didn't that? do any. So if I ask him that and he's like, yeah, you can use it. I'll be like, oh, can I go back? <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> I, dang it, really? Oh, it was fun. This has been another edition of the Bee Weekly from the dedicated team of certified fake news journalists you can trust here at the Babylon Bee. Reminding you that fake news of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth.